Hey guys, and welcome back to another virtual ants video. In today's video, we're going to be going out camping and looking for some ants, doing some rock pool jumping, and heaps more. So, the campsite is about a four and a half hour drive. Uh, it's pretty far away from where we are, but yeah, let's get to it. Alright guys, so after a while we finally arrived at the campsite and you can see here I'm just going up a little walking trail just to suss out um, what sort of sand the area has, um, what colonies they have around, just to get a good idea of what ants we have in here. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we catch a ant queen. After having a look at the last track, I decided to go into a new track and you can see it seems to have a lot more sort of a foresty type of vibe and the good thing about it is that it has a sandy dirt sort of uh, substrate and I find that the bullants tend to really like this sort of substrate. The track also went pretty far as well and it had quite a few rocks that we might be able to lift and find colonies under. I'm not going to lift any yet because I'm going to wait for my friend to arrive before we start lifting colonies. But yeah, we'll see you guys when we do start catching some colonies. Alright guys, so it's the next morning now, day two. My friend has arrived and we've set up the campsite completely, so we're going to go check out the trail that I was on before and try to lift some rocks and see if we can get some queens. We'll see you there. Alright guys, so we're out on the trail now and I managed to spot a few golden tail bull ants, uh, just workers walking around and that's a good sign meaning that there could be more maybe colonies if not even foraging queens in the area so we're going to keep our eyes peeled for that. Alright, quick update guys, I just lifted a small rock over here and found this little queen under it. Um, Unfortunately, she's missing a, one leg, but she just still seems to be moving around pretty fine. Not 100% sure what it is. It looks like a smaller version of a sugar ant almost. Uh, yeah, some sort of polyrachis or something. We're not 100% sure, but we know she's a queen because she has wing scars, so it's pretty good. That's the second queen of the trip. Alright, so we no lifted another small rock over here and managed to get a decent, another decent queen. Uh, same species actually uh, as the last queen we got, except she wasn't as beaten up, and we got a small worker with it. So she got some brood. So yeah, you can see we've got them in the little tube there, and it's good. Pretty good trip so far, guys. We're gonna have a uh, more of a look on these little rock piles over here, and hope we find more. Okay, guys, this spot's being uh, turning out to be a bit of a gold mine, so. Just down there, we've got a Campanotus um, Consobrinus Queen, also known as the Banded Sugar Ant. Uh, she's just down there. Uh, that's why I haven't really panicked. Well, I did panic at first that she ran away, but it's all good. So I'm just going to grab some brood that they have here. Nice and easy. And then we're just going to get it out very slowly. Hold the camera, please. Like slowly excavate it away. Alright, so after a couple minutes, we successfully managed to get the queen, some brood, one larvae, some eggs, and two workers. So, really successful actually. You can see she's quite big, and we're actually doing pretty good out here. Uh, I didn't think we'd find this many just on a small walk like this, but yeah. Anyway guys, we'll see you when we catch our next queen. Alright guys, so we're done walking the trail now. Uh, you can see we have four different queens, and I think two of them have a worker or two. Uh, so that's pretty good, but these are only just founding colonies, which we just found under little rocks, which is pretty good. Uh, so you can see we have this unknown species, uh, we have two Campanotus elegans queens, I believe. And we also have a Campanotus consobrinus queen. 
So we're just going to head back to camp now and put these all in a water test tube setup so they stay alive for the trip and when we get back we can sort them out later. So we'll see you then. Now on our way back we lifted a rock we didn't see before and ended up finding a Mamesia fulvicillus colony, I believe that's how it's pronounced. And we accidentally started a war with them and some green ants so we managed to rescue the queen as she was out and about. As you can see we have an attest tube here and we're going to go back and collect as many workers as we can. After heading back and collecting some more workers, we decided to go off track and see if we could find any ants at all there. Fortunately this was a very uh, bad mistake because I ended up getting about 30 grass ticks on me and it took like an hour to remove them all. We didn't even find any queens which is unfortunate. So it just says <laughs> stay on the tracks if you can. So yeah. The next day we decided to go have a look at some rock pools just to take a break from ant hunting for a little bit. So yeah. Alright guys, so the next day uh, I decided to go make some bacon on the grill and I ended up finding a Polyrachis de Melia queen. Um, she looks really beautiful, she's got a, a golden and sort of silvery colour as well as a black body which is a really nice look in my opinion. So yeah, you can see I've just captured her here, she seemed to be eating some little bits of, um, bits of food on the grill that had been left over from other people. But it's a good find nonetheless, so yeah. Alright guys, so just a quick recap of all the ants we've caught so far on this trip. You can see we've got the big colony of the Mimesia fulvicillus that we managed to rescue from the green ants. The queen seems to be doing pretty good after a couple green ants were attacking her. Uh, no lost limbs, uh, which is good. Uh, it's got about 30 workers in the colony, which is a hefty amount. And the rest of the ants over here, we've got uh, five different ants. So we've got a Polyrachis de Meli, a uh, two um, Campanotis uh, elegans, one Campanotis constabrinus, and uh, one identified species, unidentified species of ants. We can't really seem to figure out. It looks to be a sort of polyrachis or something. But yeah. So it's been a pretty good trip so far considering the amount of ants we've caught in the bullion colony we managed to save as well. So yeah. After a while we decided to take a break from the ant hunting and went over to this uh, water damaged um, four wheel drive track and ended up making our way to these rock pools that were really fun to jump in. Alright guys, so it's the next morning now and we're just preparing some firewood to chop up for tonight and we ended up finding this queen that was foraging near the fire pit. Uh, I can't remember what species it was but it's a species that I did a video in my tubs and tubes setup. If you want to go check that video out you can go ahead. But yeah, it's a pretty good find considering it's another free queen so yeah. Now today is the last day we're out camping so Unfortunately, we didn't end up finding any more queens today, but we did find that one queen that was foraging near the fire pit just before. So yeah, it's been a pretty good trip overall, considering all the ants we've caught, and it's been a lot of fun. Alright guys, so we finished our last day off with a swim at the beach, which was pretty fun. Uh, no queens today, like I said before, but... Still a really good camping trip overall. 
If you guys do want to see more sort of vlog type content, then don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoyed this video, um, you can drop a like and subscribe as well. And don't forget to comment down below if you haven't already. And uh, also check the description uh, for the link that I'll be posting to all of our socials. That includes Instagram, Discord, uh, and so on. Anyway, guys, that's about it for this video. And we'll see you next time.